Hello, welcome back class 7. In the previous class, you have seen 18B exercise intro introduction part and in that you have seen how to draw double bar graph. So in double bar graph, I have told you to do all the examples of your textbook that is example number 14 and 15 you need to do both these examples that is 14 and 15th example and here actually the bar graph is already given and you need to answer the question depend, depending upon this bar graph. So here example number 15 once again I am telling you to see take your book it is page number 244 in that page you can see example number 15 one question once again I am dealing for you all in 15 number question an English teacher took a surprise test and planned test of 25 marks each for the student of grade 7 read the graph and answer the following questions here in example 15 it is a surprise test performance of English and it is for 25 marks read the graph and here you can study the graph the heading is written student performance in two test and is one unit equal to five marks and the surprise test and the plan test two type of test are there so here you can see the dark color is for plan test and the light color is showing for the surprise test here they are asking the question name the student who did better in the surprise test who has did better in the surprise test you can see that asmriti has done good in surprise test because he has got 20 marks in both the test in some some uh, samriti uh, asmriti it is asmriti has got 20 marks and it is more than 20 that means you can see uh, it is near about 20 uh, how much marks 20 to 25 here it is 5 units and the scale is given a small thin lines are the scales so after 20 it is it is 22 marks so in both the test asmriti's marks is 22 so the answer of first question a number question name the student who did better in the surprise test now you can see who showed a good performance in the plan test name the student who did not improve in the plan test what are the scores of asmriti in the two test who among the six student do you think worked hard to improve his her uh, scores so here you can see that uh, latif roni raghav did better in the surprise test okay how how you can say how you can say by looking at the marks the surprise test who has did uh, better name the student who did better in the surprise test so it is you can see that maximum marks that i can see latif has got only 17 marks but asmriti has got 22 marks so i can say that asmriti Raghav and Rupa these three has got good marks I am not agree of your books answer that that they are telling Latif but Latif marks he has got less than Asmriti's marks in the class test so like that you have to see the question and according to the given graph you have to answer the question so according to the graph it is clear that Asmriti Raga, then Rupa. These three has done good in the surprise test. So don't write the answer that Latif has done the good. Now second question: Who showed a good performance in the plan test? So here in the plan, you can see 
that asle one student's name is asle how much marks he is he is getting in surprise test asle is ge getting 12 uh, 13 marks according to the graph asle is getting 13 marks in the surprise test but in a planned test he got 20 marks so according to me the best uh, improvement is shown by Asle. He has got more marks in the planned test because he has prepared after surprise test. Very good. Well, then C number, name the student who did not improve in the planned test. Here, Roni, our student's name is Roni. Okay. So, in C number, uh, who did not improve in the planned test? So, here Asmita, Latif, Roni, Raghav are the student who did not improve in the plan test. You can see their performance. It is given by the bar graphs over there. Like that, you, have, you can read the statement, you can see the graph and you can answer the question here. So, this type of questions are given there. After that, uh, I am going to exercise 18b. I hope that examples you are doing and do all the examples of the exercise then you can understand the bar graph uh, at the good level. Here the following data gives the total marks uh, obtained by 6 children of a particular class represent the data on a bar graph. So, exercise 18b question number 1 once again I am going to show you so that you can do it. So, question number 1 I am taking first. Here, you need to draw the bar graph. Once again, I am going to deal about the bar graph today. Here, you have to draw two axes. It is x axis and here it is y axis. Then, you need to write here 0 and scale in your graph sheet. Scale is already there because you can see the square submit sometimes it is a 5 divisions bar graph sometimes you may have the 10 divisions bar graph graph sheets accordingly you can arrange and adjust the number i am just going to deal the questions suppose i am having a graph sheet where there are 5 divisions so in that 5 divisions uh, graph sheet how I will draw the bar graph for question number 1 here is student name and marks obtained. So, in one axis there will be the student's name whereas in this another axis that means y axis there will be the marks and after doing it I have to label it first of all I need to give the heading then I will give the subheading of this bar graph. So, be very careful that where I will write the heading then where I will write the subheadings of this bar graph. First of all student names how many students are there I am going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 students. So, 6 students I need to write their names and then I am checking the marks. The marks is 410, 380, 500, 520 then 530 then 480 among these marks which is the smallest marks of 10 that is 380 and which is the highest score over here that is 520 uh, now i want to adjust here 0 to 520 how i can move i have to move from bottom to top in bottom to top when I will move then I have to mark. So, suppose I am having 5 divisions graph that means in one big square you are having 5 small linings in that suppose you are taking 50 here in 5 division then here will be 100 then here will be equal distance I am taking. You can draw it on a plain paper also, but we you need to scale. So, equal division should be there. Let me mark some equal division so that I can write my numbers over there. 
so here how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 divisions i am having already i i need little bit more division so that i can adjust 520 if suppose i am taking here 100 100 suppose i am taking here 100 i can take then here it is 200 then here it is 300 then here it is 400 then here it is 500 so this is my choice that one big square i am taking as 100 or i have told this is suitable for 10 divisions graph but if you are having five division graph also you can adjust your number like that there is no problem in writing your number like that here i have taken 600 one extra i have taken okay now i am going to write the number so here approximately i am in the middle i am going to take one one line it will give 50 50 that means if 50 is coming it will be there okay accordingly i can settle down by understanding the numbers so inder is getting 410 now 410 that means 410 is there so inder is getting 410 in that case i can draw like that suppose it is inder it is inder who has got 410 so here suppose it is coming 410 just little bit up from the 400 it is 410 for inder then raghav is getting 380 so 350 is there 80 will be there so little like that it is 380 suppose i am taking 380 always take care that the width of this bar graph should be always same you are not supposed to change the width of a bar graph then Gita is getting 500 so I am coming to 500 and drawing another bar for Gita okay so this time suppose it is representing 500 then next is Jessica that is 520 so here it is 500 okay then 520 just little up of 500 just little up to the 500 you need to draw and that is for Gita so here suppose this bar is for 520 and then 530 so little more I can go up for 530 okay like that this is 530 then 480 480 th that means it is less than 500 so 480 i can draw just below the 500 this is 480 so like that i have drawn then you can color it or you can make a design then you can write the names first this is this is 480 that you can be uh, now i have to write the subheads so here students here i am going to write students and their name let me write first it is for inder i can write here the name like that inder see this is for inder then raghav I can write in the graph itself Raghav. See, this is Raghav and Gita. This is Gita. Like that, I can write this is Gita, then Jessica. This is Jessica. I can write. Uh, this is Jessica then this is Janak then one more is Manoj I can write like that Manoj 
okay here uh, about the students i have written then i can also write the numbers i can write here that this represent 410 and uh, then i can write this is 380 here it is 380 then next number is 500 if then the next one is 520 i can write there the number it will give you the correct correct idea then 530 i can write here 530 then i can write here 480 480 after writing the numbers i can color it you can color it so like that you can color by using different colors crayons or the same color crayons as per your wish now you can decorate your bars this is this is the time for decoration of your bar so you can decorate your bar like that and the information what you have depicted the people can understand that what you have did now few things once again i am repeating after doing it you need to write the heading total marks obtained by six children the heading is total marks obtained by six children you can write the heading that total marks obtained by obtained by six children by six children this is the heading then you can write your scale here your scale is what scale you have taken one unit equal to 100 marks you can write here one unit equal to 100 marks okay this is the heading then here you are having a scale then here what is there the student's name a student's name that you have written here a student's name this is called subhead and here this side marks obtained you can write it marks obtained so here roughly just i have shown you how to draw the bar graph it is already shown once again i have given you the revision that what are the things are very essential here when you are drawing the bar graph first thing that scale should be taken very carefully when you are doing when you are having a graph sheet then graph sheets are of two types one graph sheet of are there for five division another is for 10 division so you check your graph sheet how many division division means you can see there are the box square box are made in that square box big square box how many thin lines are there sometimes you may see that there are five thin lines sometimes you may see that in some graph sheets there are 10 lines no problem five sheets or 10 five lines or 10 lines any line can be there or otherwise if you are not having a graph sheet you can draw the graph bar graph on a plane sheet you just take your scale and pencil draw two perpendicular lines like that the lines are known as x axis and y axis in one axis one information will be, will be there in the other axis another information will be there here the important thing is that you have to write the heading and subheading heading is what what information you are going to show by your bar graph that is your heading then on the axis what you are going to show that is known as subheading so you have to write the subheading as my subheading is student's name and then marks of 10 this is these are the subheadings and what is my heading my heading is there total marks obtained by six children what is my scale i have taken here 1 cm means 100 marks this is my scale 
so this much information should be there then when you are drawing graph you should take care that the gaps between two graphs should be always same it should not be that gap one time you are taking less gap in an, uh, another time you are taking more gap so you have to manage the graph you have to take an eye so that the between the two graphs always you have to spare the vacant space same vacant space that means the distance between the gap in between two bars should be same another thing height height is showing the marks this time i have written the marks here because this i have drawn on a plain paper suppose my board is the plain paper on that plain paper i have drawn my bar graph so it is not easy to read for that what i have did i have written the numbers and here the name also whatever name i have written over the, there it's people can read it here to, after writing i have drawn some lines that may disturb you but here also if it is not <coughs> good to write here it is better to write the names down downwards if you write the name then it is easy for reading here in the rough style i have just shown you how to do the question and i hope that you understood the bar graph this is the single bar graph and now we are reading about double bar graph double bar graph also can be drawn in the same way so this was the first question that i have did second question is there read the given bar graph and answer the following questions this time in the second question is what the favorite movie characters this is the heading of this bar graph the favorite movie characters and here one side written characters and one side number of uh, students like them so here which character is liked by most of the student you can see the most of the student are liking iron man that means 40 student are liking iron man so in second question 2a which character is liked by most of the student you can see your answer that it is iron man it is liked by most of the student 40 student are liking it then b number which character do 35 students like so just you search where is 35 that you can see in your book that spider man it is a spider man so which character do 35 students like so 35 students like a spider man you can write your answer over there then c number how many more students like superman than wondered man how many more student like superman than wonder woman here c number then at first you write superman how many student like superman you can see 36 and then wonder man 32 that means wonder woman is liked by 32 and superman liked by 36 students that means what is the difference between them 36 minus 32 will give you four students that means how many more student you can write your answer that means there are four more student uh, who like a uh, superman than the wonder woman how many student like batman you can see batman is liked by 38 student then e number how many student were interviewing for this survey total number of student is how many you need to add in the e number question number e is answer you need to add that means 38 plus 35 plus 40 plus 32 plus 34 plus 36 that means in this survey whatever you are getting you need to add all these numbers then you will come to know that how many students were interviewed for this survey that means total number of student who has participated this survey you can find it by adding 38 plus 35 plus 40 plus 32 plus 34 plus 36 if you will add all these numbers then your correct answer will come like that you have to do question number 3 also okay 
so question number 3 you can do now one more question i am going to show you that is question number 4 okay so question number 4 i am going to show you this is all about draw the graph following are the maximum and the minimum temperature of mumbai in a week draw a double bar graph this time i am going to take question number 4 okay so in question number 4 question number 4 there are maximum and minimum temperature of mumbai in a week so let me start the bar graph okay I have taken two axes as x and y and this is all about double bar graph. So first of all I am checking what is the maximum temperature that is maximum 32.5, 35, 35, 32.5, 35 and 30 that means the maximum number is maximum number which you can see that is 35. Okay? And the minimum number I need here that is 22.5. So in between 22.52 I have to go up to 35. So here uh, I am taking I am thinking that your graph is for 5 division. So here 5 then 10, 20 then it is 15 uh, sorry 5. 10, 15, 20, then here it is 25, then here it is 30, then here 35. So, I can write here the temperature suppose I am starting from 5, 5. So, here it is 5, then here it is 10, then here it is 20, it is 15, then here it is 20, then here it is 25 and here it is 30. In between, I am having 5 divisions. So, I can take 5 divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 like that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am not having the graph sheet but I can mark here at equal distance 5 small divisions I can take as per our requirement when I need it. So, first I am going to draw maximum temperature that is April 4 32.5 here it is 35. So, it is 32.5. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4 divisions I have taken then it is 34, 32.5. So, here 31 and here 32 in between I can draw a line it will give me 32.5 and this time I am going to draw little thin bars because double bar graph it is so one graph is taken it is for 32.5 then another is 35 and the minimum temperature is 22.5 that I am going to use different color that is 22.5 here 20 and then again I need 5 divisions here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It is 22.5. Here it is 21, 22 and 0.5 is there. So what I am going to do here like that a different color graph I am going to use different color. So maximum and minimum both the temperature has come for April 4. This is for April 4. Then for April 5. 35 and 25 35 so in 35 again I am going to draw this is for 35 this is for 35 this is the maximum and 25 degree is minimum here it is 25 so I am going to write here 25 
so like that i can draw for 25 this is for 25 okay now after doing it 35 and again 25 35 once again i am going to draw for 35 and then again 25 this is for 25 35 and 25 once again and then 32.5 and 27.5 32.5 once again there is 32.5 so i am going to draw it 32.5 this is 32.5 and then 27.5 so 27 here 25 here 26 27 then 28 29 30 i need here 27.5 to 25 26 27 27.5 is there in, in this middle so 27.5 here i am going to write here 27.5 in front of that i have taken different color i have used it is showing me 27.5 then 35 degree c and 25 degree c again 35 degree c again i am going to draw for 35 degree c like that then again after 35 degree c 25 degree c is there 25 degree c so i am going to draw for 25 degree c like this double bar graph is coming for 25 degree c then 30 degree c 30 degree c is there so i am going to draw for 30 degree c this is for 30 degree c and then 27.5 so 26 27.5 i am having again 27.5 is there so like this i can draw so here what is there that i can color it if you are having color you can use your color to color it so this is for minimum temperature and that is for maximum temperature here i am not having color so i am using the shades okay like that now the temperatures i can write first is 32.5 here i can write 32.5 degree and then the minimum that i can write 22.5 degree i can write here it is 22.5 degree then 35 i can write there 35 degree and here it is 25 degree that i can write then 35 once again i can write 35 degree then 25 i can write here 25 degree again 32.5 i can write here 32.5 degree and down 27.5 i can write 27.5 degree okay then 35 degree again i can write here 35 degree and 25 degree i can write here 25 degree and here i can write 30 degree and down i can write 27.5 degree 27.5 degree like that i can write the numbers then it the time comes for heading what heading should be there okay maximum and minimum temperature of mumbai that i can write maximum and minimum temperature minimum temperature temperature of mumbai in a week 
Mumbai in a week. I can write in a week. So here then here it is a date add down I can write dates okay and then one side maximum and minimum temperature here I can write temperature here I can write temperature only I can write that this side we are having temperature then heading is there subheading is there what is missing here a scale is missing what a scale I have taken so regarding scale I can write there that what a scale I have taken I have taken the white bar scale means I have taken one unit equal to one, one unit equal to five degree centigrade there that is our unit and then the indicator indicator what I have taken the white bars is showing the maximum temperature maximum temperature and the green bar sorry the blue bar which I have drawn this blue bar it is showing the minimum temperature minimum temperature okay so what is scale then what is the indicators that you, uh, you need to write so in this bar graph heading is there scale is there indicator is there subheading is there but one th thing is missing that date is not written now I need to write the date April 4 I can write here it is April 4 then April 5 April 5 April 6 April 6 April 7 April 7 here I can write April 8 then April 9 April 9 so like that you can draw your bar graph it is the double bar graph that I have shown you today how to draw the double bar graph that once again I am repeating you can use a graph sheet or you can draw it on a plain sheet in a graph sheet you need to draw tear it out and paste in your classwork copy when you need to draw but uh, yes here the precautions or uh, whatever precaution I have told you to take care that you have to take care so what are the things there heading should be there subheading should be there a scale should be there and your index should be there index means here indicator in double bar graph you have seen that here I have used two color one white and one blue color in white color I am showing the maximum temp temperature whereas by using blue color I am so, uh, uh, showing the minimum temperature these things should be written over there like that you can do it so today I am giving you the homework do till question number six and do it in your copy classwork copy and make a single PDF file name it as your class section and roll number and send to me it will be uh, added in your notebook marks NBS notebook marks is there are five marks in your notebook submission when you are doing and submitting to me then you will get the notebook submission marks at the year ending time I will allot the marks according to your send items what you are sending to me thank you for today